Mwagna, former managing director of the popular chain of Java Coffee Houses, now the first convicted pedophile prosecuted under the Sexual Offenses Act, and he'll have 15 years to ponder over his actions. Wagner, who had been accused of sexually molesting two girls aged 13 and 14 years, was sentenced alongside Judy Nyagudhi and Faith Nyawira, who both received 10-year sentences for procuring prostitution from minors. When delivering the sentence, Chief Principal Magistrate Teresi Angugi said that despite the hostile cross-examination by defense lawyers, the girls' testimonies stood firm. The court heard that the girls dropped out of lower primary schools in rural parts of Kenya and traveled to Nairobi where they linked up with Wagner's co-accused Nyawera and Nyagudhi. The women helped them secure accommodation and they would then take them to Wagner where they were drugged with sprays, rendered unconscious and defiled by Wagner. The girls who testified in camera said they saw Wagner pay his two co-accused. The women in turn bought the girls' clothes and gifts to silence them. Problems arose when Nyawera and Nyagudhi differed on the sharing of proceeds and Nyagudhi proceeded to reveal the molestation saga to an official of the Women's Rights Awareness Program. This statement was key because controversy seemed to follow the proceedings of this trial, with the police attempting to discredit evidence against Wagner and the two women. Wagner was arrested on July the 26th last year, after what the court later learned was a string of incidences where he paid the two women Nyagudhi and Nyawera to molest the girls who were drugged during each episode. Wagner's lawyer, Mohamed Nyaoga, vowed that his client would use the full judicial process to clear his name after Wagner was denied bail after the sentence. Twenty-five witnesses were called to testify, including a father and a grandmother of the two minors. Wagner came to Kenya 18 years ago and invested in the Java chain of restaurants.